Good morning, everyone. This is Josh Miller coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. I live in the Midwest. And as such, we I'm not on the forefront of culinary innovation. That comes from the East Coast, the West Coast, and even the South. Um... I would say that the most innovative thing that the Midwest has done is probably the Chicago deep dish pizza, which, can you even really call that a Midwest creation? Because, like, I feel like the Midwest I'm talking about and the Midwest that, like, Chicago and Detroit are a part of are two different things. Like, I'm talking about the Iowa-Nebraska area. They're talking about the Great Lakes area. Those are two very different areas. Remember that the you you could fit most of Europe inside of the United States pretty comfortably. So there's a lot of culinary uh, variants, cultural variants even. But so with that said, whenever I get something new to try, that's some kind of culinary thing, it's usually from a chain. So, for that, I am sorry, because tonight we are trying a le a now legendary item for the first time, and it's from, ba da ba ba Hardee's. That's right, y'all saw the title. I got a Nashville hot chicken. From Hardee's. I'll admit, I'm act that this has been sitting out a little bit. I, I was so tired when I got home that I went to bed instead of filming this video. So it's cold, but that should be okay. So what is the actual hot chicken? Well, it's pickles, chicken, and white bread. All of which seems to be represented here pretty accurately. You have a toasted bun, pickles, looks like a little bit of butter. Oh yeah, I do believe butter is part of the National Hot Chicken. There we go. But let's give her a try. I mean, it tastes good. Um... Very pickly, though. Granted, that could be just because it's been sitting a while. So the pickle flavor is absorbed into everything. It is hot for me, but that might not necessarily be hot for natural hot chicken. I will say, if I had remembered that there was butter on this thing, I might have tried to eat it sooner, because now it's just cold butter, which isn't exactly the best texture you want on a sandwich. You know who else puts butter in their chicken sandwiches? Burger King. They've, for some reason, on all their chicken sandwiches, from the awful chicken patty, to their hand-breaded stuff, to their new spicy chicken Crispy chick, crispy chicken king. They put a slather of butter on the bottom of the bu on the bottom bun. A little weird, but I'm into it. Mm. There's a grittiness to this. Ugh. Oh, that is spicy. I can't tell if that's mayo or more butter. Nashville's in Tennessee, right? It's where Elvis was 
That's where Graceland is and stuff. No, Graceland is in Memphis. I mostly remember that because, um... Tottenstein, which was this, like, educational show that was, like, about Egyptology through the eyes of a of a teenage girl and her friend who's, like, a King Tutankhamun-style kid mummy. Anyway, they go to... They go to uh, Memphis one time because King Tut hears that Men that they're going to Memphis, which is apparent. I think it's also a, 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 a like a town or kingdom or whatever in ancient Egypt, and that they worship a different king there. And he's like, "I must assert my right to be king there as well." And so you know, he goes and wins a uh, banana peanut butter bacon sandwich co eating contest because you know. He literally has no organs, so he just shoves them into his mouth and they enter his chest cavity. It's gross to think about, but, like, that was that's what was on Discovery Kids when I was a kid. Anyway. Oh, Lord, that was, that was spicy, but it was okay. That's not the only thing we got. Because they had two different kinds of natural hot things. They had the hot, they had the hot sandwich, which I think is the more traditional way to eat natural hot chicken. But then they also had natural hot chicken tenders, which appears to be a dry brine. Interesting, or uh, you know, like a a dry rub instead of a sauce. And I did get ranch for this because I am, I knew I was going to be suffering after the sandwich. Let's try one by itself first. Hmm. Honestly, it's not as bad as the sandwich. It's just like, it's like you covered these in tahini or something. It's not bad. I know it's like the, it's like the hot and spicy Cheetos, um, oh, what are those called? I'm going to remember after I'm done filming and I'm going to hate myself. Let me pause a second. Sorry, when I eat spicy foods, my nose runs. And, oh boy. Today's a roughie. Mmm! Honestly, the spice powder is almost a disservice because these chicken tenders are amazing! Like, look at that crispy breading. Mm. Absolutely destroyed by the powder, I tell you. And the orange dipping sauce is okay. And my first time having tenders from Hardee's. I'm actually really, I actually really like them. They're really good, but there's so much spice on them.
It's like... It's like how you put hot sauce on furniture to... Or, no, you put hot sauce on puppy pads to keep your dogs from eating them. I feel like someone's trying to wean me off the chicken by putting this unpleasantly spicy powder on it. That was actually good, though. I really like that a lot. Um, the sandwich was good. The tenders were good. I am very pleasantly surprised. I will say that those tenders were way too expensive. That was... So those five tenders were $10. I think the sandwich is only six, though. Get the sandwich. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go chug some milk or something. Eat some bread, maybe. I don't know. Oh, good one. It's Royce Miller. I'm out here.